having some issues? Lauren will help you out with the assistance of our listeners. Let's do it. Get at Lauren. It's the Y107 Morning Show with Cosmo and Lauren. Quick recap. Yes. This chick went to Starbucks. <laughs> this chick saw her ex-boyfriend. They got to chatting. She found out that he's now married. He now has a baby. She said it bothered her more than she thought it would. But then she let her awkward take over. <laughs> and rather than being all like, hey, great to see ya, bye. Right. She said, hey, great to see ya. Let me know if you ever need a babysitter. <laughs> and then he called her. Oh. So now she's having this <laughs> awkward dilemma of like, what do I do? And she wants to know from you, what should she do? Let's go to the phones, or you can text 800-500-Y107. Y107, what's up? Hey, this is Adam. Hey, Adam, what do you think about all this? I think that she should not definitely not do it and just come up with excuses unless he's, like, super persistent and then just then don't even answer the phone down the line. It's a, it's a bad idea. Okay, so you think, like, doing that whole, like, oh, I'm sorry, I can't, I'm washing my hair. Sorry, I have a date tonight. Sorry, I have the flu. Until finally he just stops. Uh, yeah, whatever excuse it takes. Because, I mean, they have a history, and yeah, no. I don't think it's a good idea at all. Okay, yeah, it's awkward, that's for sure. I'm Team Adam, what he just said. That whole line about bothered... It bothered me more than it should. That they're, they're, they're just so she should ghost him. Either ghost him or at least just give him a, 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 an excuse or something. Yeah, no, that that you're, she is setting herself up for some 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 heartbreak. Yeah, because I think she's hope. There's like some kind of little like you know she knows what she can't have because he's married. Sure, but he's married and he's calling an ex to babysit his kid. Like I, that, there's a weird something going on here. And it may be something completely innocent and we don't know the details of their relationship. How long were they together? Like you said earlier, but still, I, yeah, if, if my, if my wife is going to have our new kid babysat by an ex of hers, I don't care how long they were together. I'm like, that's your first choice. That's who we got. Not first choice, but that's who you're getting to babysit. Yeah. Like, there's not a kid in the neighborhood. There's not a coworker of yours, kid, that's 16, needs some gas money. You're going to go with an ex? Eh. 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 Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I'm making that noise. Why, but, right. The baby's <laughs> crying all of a sudden? I don't know. I, I think I think uh, this is just getting, this is going to get messy. I think it's weird of him to have called her. Right. Like... You're married. That's got me questioning it more than any anything right. else. Mm. So jump on. Get at Lauren. Call us. 441-Y107. What should she do? Get at Lauren now. 441-Y107. Having some issues? Lauren will help you out with the assistance of our listeners. Let's do it. Get at Lauren. It's the Y107 Morning Show with Cosmo and Lauren. It's not getting, like, I still don't have good advice for this girl. She went to Starbucks, ran into an ex. They sat down for just a minute, had coffee together, kind of caught up. He told her he's married. He just had a new baby. And she was, like, kind of bummed out that he's married. Mm -hmm. And then when they go to leave, she got real weird. (laughs) The awkwardness over. She said... Hey, it was great to see you. Let me know if you ever need a babysitter. (laughs) And then he called her because he needs a babysitter. Two days later. Two days later. Right? Two days later. So now she's wondering, like, what do I do? Mm -hmm. So get at Lauren. We know she's listening. She's looking for your advice as we kind of have our family, our community here on the Y107 Morning Show with Cosmo and Lauren. What is your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, it's Jessica from Rolla. Hey, Jessica, what do you think? Hey, well, you do, you kind of have to do it. I mean, you said you were going to do it, and you you need to stick with it, no matter how awkward you feel. Okay, so you think she needs to honor that word? Yeah, I mean, finding a babysitter can be hard, and if, you know, he called and is going to ask her to do that, then I think... You know, she she needs to, to honor it. He's married. 
You're an ex. But that's <laughs> also kind of on him. Right. And you're enabling. Again, I go back to that. It, it bothered me more than it should. Like, she still has some kindled thing for him. Uh, and the fact that he, two days later, he's like, And I'll agree Ooh. with that. Ooh. But that's more his fault than hers. Right. That's why she needs to, she needs to just, oh man, that's the night of my sister's blah, 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 or something. I can't this time, and you know what? Probably not a so good So you're idea. sticking with the ghost her thing. No, not completely ghost him. Or ghost but him, yeah. Y- y- come up with an excuse or something to, to, to just not get out of babysitting. That, that You need to, no. Because like I said before, you're gonna set her, she's going to set herself up for heartbreak Some or worse. Some kind of nastiness. Yeah, Jerry Springer's I'd be way producers. more worried about drama than heartbreak, and that is well, coming your way, yeah, sister. exactly. So... Uh, text line 800-500-Y107 or call us. Get at Lauren. we got a little bit of time left before we get to fire up the Mega Money Minute at 750-441-Y107. Text at Lauren now. 800-500-Y107. Having some issues? Lauren will help you out with the assistance of our listeners. Let's do it. Get at Lauren. Yellow. It's the Y107 Morning <laughs> Show with Cosmo and Lauren. Kind of like your new glasses. Yellow. They're very Yellow. Oh. About as yellow Super as Super yellow. <laughs> um, if you're just joining us, good morning, first of all. Second of all, I want to fill you in on what we were talking about at Lauren. Uh, whew, this girl went to a Starbucks and she met up with an ex. Um, ran into. She didn't meet up. Ran there. into. Yeah, 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 I shouldn't say met up. Yeah, she didn't go there knowing he was going to be there. She, she ran went. into an ex. They sat down for a minute, had coffee, kind of caught up just, just a little bit. And he told her that he was married and he had a brand new baby. She did say it bothered her more than she would have liked. So then she goes to leave and she's like, all right, see ya. Let me know if you ever need a babysitter. Don't. And then he called her because he needed a babysitter, like, which is awkward itself. Like two days later. Awkward itself. Mm-hmm. So she wants to know, what do I do? We've had a lot of texts, a lot of calls. 441-Y107. Let's uh, wrap this up because we got to get ready to give away 500 bucks to Mega hey. Money Minutes. we got time for one more call? Yeah. All right, cool. So honestly, I, I, I think honesty is the best policy with that. I would just send the guy a text message or call him and say, you know, just trying to be nice to you and offer it out because I like kids. But I feel like with your wife and me being an ex, probably going to cause an issue. So I say with problems like that, it's better to just get out in front of it, be honest, and open up front. That's really solid. That's kind of what I was leaning towards, too. I mean, no, you shouldn't do it, but you also shouldn't just ghost the guy. Yeah, I, I, I'm not a big fan of ghosting, no matter what the situation is. Like, if you offer to do something and you think better about it later, don't just ghost. That's just a horrible thing to do. Yeah. Just just get out, be honest and open. Honesty is the best policy always. 